Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Safari Land 578 GLS Pro Fit holster. I was at Cabela's looking at holsters and I needed something for my CZ75s and this said it fits the CZ75. So it says shim, so the ones that have this colored dot, there's a shim in the package that you have to first take apart the holster, put the shim in, and then it will work for all the ones with the colored dots by it. The ones that are blank, it should just work right out of the box, no shim installation necessary. So I have other paddle holsters from Safari Land. I use them on my belt. So here is a different one. This one's like the 7000 series. The retention lock is here, whereas on this one, it's going to be back here. So this works with one and a half to two inch belts. So I've had great success with these. I have this for Glock 17. I have it for 1911. And now I've got the one that fits the CZ75 series apparently. So I needed one to work with this belt system. So this is it because it's the same thing, just a different model. So I'm curious to see what ones of the CZ75 that it will fit. I have the 75B, 75BD, SPO1, SPO1 Shadow, and the Shadow 2. I'm pretty sure the 75 Compact is too small. This is for a full size, but I guess I'll try it anyway. Stay tuned. This is brand new in the box. Haven't opened it yet, so here we go. Here's the parts. So here's the holster itself. Should have the directions on how to install the shim. And the shim is one of these pieces here, which should be this piece here, right here. This is an optional attachment. And then you have the paddle here. I prefer actually using this over this, but this is not uncomfortable, but I don't really prefer it. And it's really easy to take apart, it comes with all the tools necessary, and you can adjust the cant on this. So these are useful, and I do think that they're cost effective. This was $60, and it does have a retention lock. So it's a little different, so it's going to be here instead of here on this one. But the same idea should work fine with either a belt or with my battle belt. So up to 2 inch belt, I'm sure will work just fine. So it's a big opening there. So same here. So these are highly utilitarian and cost effective and you saw how many different models that it fits. So this is quite cost effective. I only have CZ75 out of the list of models on here, but Glock 34 is another popular model that it will fit. Included in the parts is the Allen key and the shim. You're gonna use the Allen key here on the holster. You're gonna undo this and install the shim and then reclose the holster and it should work for the full-size CZ75 series. Stay tuned. Looking at the instructions and the tools included, looks like you're going to have to take apart the screw here and take these two off here to expose the screw here. And I think you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to take this off. Because if you look at here, it opens up and then you're going to install the shim and then put it back together. So they do include the Allen key but it does look like there's a Phillips screwdriver required here, but we'll see after I take this off and I take this off. Okay, I have the holster all taken apart and I was looking at the directions on how to install the shim. So this is the mechanism, that's the retention mechanism. There's two pieces, just fits inside. Now the piece, the shim is gonna go right here. You see where it says R, there's this channel then you look on the shim piece, it also says R, and it should fit right into the channel and lock into place. And then you merely put this back. You, this is the hole that lines up with the hole here, and the retention faces this way. And then you should just put the screws back in it, and it should work for your CZ75 series. So let's put it back together and see how it works out. Okay, now I have the shim installed and the holster put back together. Now I'm gonna do the test fitting. First, I'll show you where the shim goes. So you see, we have the locking piece here. The shim is this plastic piece right here. It's black on black, so it's hard to see, but you fit it in the channel and it locks in place. So now you should be able to use this holster 
for 75 series pistols. So let's start out with the 75B. Positive retention, lock works. Seventy five B Omega box in there, lock works. Seventy five B Omega seventy five SPO one. Now it's really in there. SPO one shadow should be the same. Now let's try the shadow too. Even the big boy, the Shadow 2 works. Positive retention. So it looks like this is a good $60 holster that will work for your 75 series pistols. Works for the Shadow 2 all the way down through the 75B. I'm sure the 75BD will work because as you can see, the safety or the decocker should be fine because I do have the 75B Omega with the decocker. So if you're worried about the decocker getting in the way, nope, should be fine. So this was the Safari Land 578 GLS Profit holster.